Let's see it in action. How can I not use this one? Oh, he's stomping on him. Look at this attack. This is terrifying, though. Yeah, look at this. You got two dudes on each side. Hey, everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. We are here checking out the Polarities mod, just like the last video we did with the Secrets of the Shadows mod. We're checking out a fairly underrated mod. And Polarities mod, this has to be one of my more recent favorite new mods. Because I always see it updating almost like every other week. That's how you know they're putting in that work. So I hope you guys check out the mod after this video. Let's hop into it. We're checking out the weapons, of course. I grabbed four weapons from each class that is in the mod. I don't believe there's any new classes. There is new types of weapons though. And what I mean by that is there's Warhammers at Lottles. I hope that's how you pronounce that. This is how it's spelled. And then there's orbs. But let's get to it. We're starting with the melee stuff. We got this right here. Chain lacerator. No description. All action. Look at that. Beautiful. Very cool. It's like the, what is it? The guillotine? Something like that. The weapon that I never use. You probably forget that this weapon exists. Chain of guillotines. Cool. Let's see it in action here. Let's bring out an enemy. Let's bring out some wolves. Some werewolves. I feel like uh, this is a hard mode weapon. Maybe it will go good against this dude. Let's see. Let's see. We're swinging a lot of hands here. A lot of spikes. Are those like claws at the end those look like claws at the end that's cool next one unfolding blossom uh this is a part of the flawless set of items and weapons and polarities has this really cool feature where if you flawless a boss in the mod and in vanilla terraria you get a weapon or a bonus item and it's not always a weapon it could be an accessory it could be a grappling hook and it's a really cool feature i kind of wish that terraria had that type of feature so watch this we bring in the king slime right we're gonna use this weapon here unfolding blossom cool weapon it's literally an unfolding blossom how big does this thing get does it get like the size of the screen this is sick but yeah as you saw there i'm in god mode obviously i'm not gonna take damage so that means we get this right here the flawless weapon and it's so cool that each boss has their own flawless item and weapon very simple feature but very unique and like i said i wish vanilla terraria had that feature but yeah cool weapon sick i love the animation it also looks really good sprites in this mod are good uh usually if i don't say anything about the sprites they're usually pretty good next up electric edge rain lightning on your foes finally some words to read i'm fine without having to read words you know that gets us through the weapons a lot quicker let's see it in action then oh it's like Zeus is striking down on him. He's smiting these fools. Cool weapon. On to the next. This one right here. This one looks sick as hell. It's called Asthenos. Asthenos. Incinerates your enemies and halves their contact damage. Little unique feature there. And it's a, it's a fairly simple weapon, but it just looks cool, man. It is a true melee weapon, and it looks cool. That's really all you could ask for true melee weapons, if we're being honest. All right, next up, we're moving on to the ranged weapons here. So the Polarities mod does add in a bunch of dart stuff. You know, they're trying to show love to darts, and you love to see it, honestly. It is a very underrated thing. I'm not saying that every Terraria subclass has to be finished, but like, you know, why finish some subclasses and not finish all of them? That's what we got mods for. But yeah, let's start with this. We got the Hemolia, Hemiola, whatever you pronounce that. Converts wooden darts into cursed and icor darts. Let's see an action here. And it also says, Sh shots both rapid and powerful darts. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say shoots. Let's see it in action. Dart love. You love to see it. Very unique too. I like how it shoots like a spread of uh, Icor darts and then it shoots singular cursed darts. And the cursed darts also leave flame behind. Very, very cool. On to the next here. Celestial Storm. Shoots portals which fire darts at the cursor. My god, it's full of darts. Let's see it in action here. So we're shooting, shooting out wooden darts and then we got portals with it too. So let's bring in some werewolves here and let's see, let's see the damage. Do the portals. Okay, so the portals shoot darts too. So if I took out some stronger darts, we'd be doing more damage here. Next up, we got the Chaos Shot. Shoots a chaotic spray of armor-piercing bullets. Let's see it in action here. Let's spray. Let's let this gun rip on them. Ooh. Satisfying noise, Terraria ASMR. Satisfying noise, cool animation, nice. And last but not least here for the ranged weapon, shoots a dense splatter of Icor, the splatter gun. Let's see this. Oh, I'm blasting Icor on them. Looks like I'm pissing on them. All right, next up here, we got some mage weapons. Let's go through them, starting with this one, Flailing Kraken. Slap your enemies with tentacles. That sounds amazing. Let's see it in action. Oh, 
Look at that. That is amazing. Imagine getting slapped by a fucking tentacle. I would be mad as hell. I'm not gonna lie. All right, next up, we got the worm spewer. Spews worm. Plain and simple. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> and the worm homes in too? This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm assuming you're supposed to run out of mana eventually, and that's why the worm would get like cut off. But you know, I'm in god, god mode. I got infinite mana. All right, next up, Nebula Ray. Cast the light of distant stars upon your enemies. Let's see this in action. Ooh. Not gonna lie, the noise is a little bit annoying, but I like the attack. I like the attack. I like how it goes through walls. And last but not least here, the Ray of Sunshine. Let's see it in action. Pretty good, pretty good. At least it looks pretty good. Let's see it in action here. Boom. Oh my god. Oh, I can control it with my mouse too? Oh my. We just saw a weapon like this similar in the uh, Calamity mod that reminds me of the Hammer of Dawn from Gears of War. And the Hammer of Dawn is a sick weapon. Okay, and let's get on to one of my favorite classes in Terraria, Summoner. Let's see, what we working with in the Summoner class today? We got this one, Batastrophe, which is a flawless weapon. Uh, spews bats in all directions until your mini cap is filled. Let's see it. Oh my god. This is terrifying. I feel like Batman's about to pop out. Y'all see the new Batman trailer? Well, I guess it's not new at this point. Uh, I don't like the noise. I'm not gonna lie, the bat squeaks are a little bit uh, annoying. But what did you expect? All right, next up, Solar Eye Staff. Summons a solar eye to protect you. I think this one's gonna be a fairly simple. Ooh, they still look cool though. I like how they turn into like solar eclipse suns. That's sick as fuck. Let's see it in action here. And then they turn into regular eyes too. Ooh. Are they like doing frost burn and just regular burning? That's sick. Okay, I'll mess with that one. All right, next one. This one. Oh, God, this is a hard word to pronounce. <laughs> Esophagius? Phagius? Something like that. Esophagius? Phagius? I don't know. Let's see it in action. Summons a baby esophage. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm about to Google it. All right, I Googled it, and the word that came up was esophageal. Esophageal? Something like that. So, esophagus? Esophagus? Oh, that kind of... That sounds right. <laughs> see, now I know what we're trying to say now. They're trying to say esophagus. Okay, let's see it in action here. Uh, this is one of the bosses in the mod, I believe. And this one should be pretty sick. So the boss itself, I believe, has a bunch of legs. And every time we summon in more, it gets more legs, which is sick. And I think the boss itself has like eight legs. I don't, I don't know. We'll see it when we get to it. But this is so cool looking. I love it. Let's go ahead. Let's bring in some enemies here. See it do some work. Oh, he's stomping on him. Is he spitting? Is he peeing on him? I don't know. You know, things get kind of sus when we're talking about Icor. Next up, the Weaver Orb. So they got a subclass. We said this earlier. Orbs are a subclass. And it's really cool how these work. So they're like summoner weapons that like you have to constantly be using. Like you have to constantly hold left click down. And look at this. This is sick. I need to zoom out so we can see it. Motherfucker spinning a web. Charlotte's web. This is so cool. I don't know if I like how do I how do I control this? I don't, I don't know. Do I just like point my mouse towards something? I don't know. This one's kind of different. But yeah, there's a lot of orbs like this and they're all really unique here. I could bring out a couple more of them since we are going to move be moving on after this. Let's bring out like this one. Royal orb. This one summons in a bee and then it'll slowly like summon in more bees as I hold it out. Something like that, right? yeah and then we got another one alkaline orb look at this this one's a little bit different but yeah as soon as i let go left click gone all right next up are the armors we're not gonna get too deep into the armors we got a lot of things to still check out so you know we'll run through them real quick uh here you go here's the stats for these ones that i'm about to put on uh i believe these are all flawless stuff yeah these are all from killing the mech bosses flawlessly what kind of group of animals do we have roaming around here what the heck but yeah, this is a cool set. Set bonus, right click to enter a temporary state of Mecha Mayhem. See, I said I wasn't going to do this, but this one's cool. Like, look at this. <laughs> How can I not use this one? All right, next up, let's grab this one, the Sunplay Stuff. This looks sick. Here you go. You can read through them if you want to. Very cool. Reminds me of like a Dark Souls armor set. Next up, we got these Storm Cloud Stuff. Oh, look at that. It has a little cloud above me very very nice here you go if you want to read through this and last but not least for armor sets that i want to show off again i didn't really choose anything too crazy i just grabbed a bunch of random ones this one though this is cool this is cool you can read this uh it has two separate helmets boom one turns me blue one turns me red very very nice let's move on though we're moving on to another unique feature the mod adds in and that is books so there's an npc called like the ghost rider i believe where's he at yeah right here ghost rider look at him cool npc Look at him fly away. 
Yeah, he's supposed to sell these books, and all these books are based off of after you kill a boss. So he'll sell the book after you defeat a boss. For example, kill the sign, you get this one. And these books, unless you have certain accessories that allow you to use more, you could have pretty much just like a passive buff on you. And the slime one gives us a double jump for an example. You know, that's our first example. And then like a bunch of them just have cool things like this. Increase your maximum life by 10%. Just cool passive stats. It reminds me of more like Isaac items. Yeah, boost mining speed, cause you leave behind an eclipse trail look at that like there's a lot of unique ones in here and i think this is a sick feature this is very dope awesome uh you could probably hop on the wiki and read all of them if you want yeah moving on this chest right here has nothing in it <laughs> it's just there to look good we're moving on to the bosses the the new generation all of that let's start with the generation we're going down here to this cave boom it's a little dark i know i know Hold up. boom brightness turned up i bet i can figure out what this cave is called by mining a block limestone cave <laughs> as you can see there's a little like spikes dripping down from the top that's cool very simple there's not much to it i would like them to expand on the new biomes they add in because the new biomes they add in they really are like simplistic but it's very similar to how terraria marble and granite biomes are there's nothing really to them like literally limestone and then we go to this one what's this one salt cave like literally it's exactly how terraria adds in their cave stuff but given it's a mod they don't gotta follow you know terraria's rules what are, are these flies brine flies dang. if you guys remember the video i did check out the dimension yes sir this mod adds in dimensions let's go ahead let's hop to that dimension to get to that dimension though we will need to kill a boss so let me teleport to a skyline here to fight this boss and that boss is the rift denizen boom Oh, he looks different. He looks a lot different since I last seen him. But yeah, we go ahead and kill this boss here. Uh, let me get like a weapon to kill this boss. With. I died somehow. I, I was looking at the menu for weapons and I died. I'm in God mode. So, you know, add that to the list of bosses that can kill you in God mode. All right, let's do some damage here. I don't even know what I'm supposed to attack. Oh, okay. Attack the rifts. Look at this attack. What a sick, like, even though Terraria is a 2D game, it, this feels like a 3D feature I'm getting hit with right there. Feels like I'm getting shot legit all right this motherfucker keeps on killing me why does he keep killing me all right the dude is dead and i'm not dead let's go to this new dimension it spawns over here or near the middle of the world pretty much and let's peep it we gotta hop up here we right click on this thing and look at this boom we are here in the fractal dimension every time you go in a dimension it makes your ui super small who knows why oh my god i think this is my first time being in this dimension with like a large world and it's sick this is sick let's hop over here oh my god look at the background the background looks cool as hell it might be a little dark but look at this this shit is so cool got some enemies spawning trying to attack me look at this tree right here is this an actual tree reminds me of uh, like a chorus fruit from minecraft and it drops fruit fractus fruit hold up <laughs> y'all got inspired from minecraft uh let's go back here in the middle maybe like go to the top look at this thing it literally goes all the way to the top that's so cool and look at this we got these blocks where are these blocks i don't know i can't mind and then we got the uh fractal ocean biome too a lot of scary creatures spawn down here it's gonna be very dark but yeah this place is sick there's a lot of weapons and stuff you can get here a lot of items ores obviously we can see all the ores and stuff and it's just really cool that this mod literally adds in a new dimension like how many terrarium mods do that check out the video where i checked out a bunch of mods that do do that including this mod but yeah let's head back to the overworld and let's get into some bosses here all right let's start with the first boss you're supposed to fight in this mod and that is the storm cloud fish i love how this boss looks look at him it's just a fish mixed with a storm cloud amazing as we can see he's got a couple of cool attacks here and there let me go ahead and do a little damage to it. See if we get another phase. Hopefully I don't kill it too fast. I know that happened in the last video. I killed that uh the serpent in the last video and I went right past its phase two. Oops, you know it happens. But yeah, cool attacks. We are an expert, so we might see some more attacks than you'd usually see. But nice cool first boss. We're not gonna go over every single boss, just because there's a good bit. And you know, you wanna keep some surprises for the people. But the next one we're gonna go over is the Gigabat. Alright, so this boss we are supposed to fight in the cave layer. Let's go ahead, let's see. If in action it's a giant bat honestly you love to see the creativity because it's not a worm honestly any boss that isn't a worm is creative to me unless the worm boss is really cool shout out the secrets of shadow Mom. but yeah, as you can see cool attacks you got the bat circling us uh i wonder if i move with the batsman no so you kind of gotta fight in like a little condensed area but i'm assuming yeah we can do damage to the bats so we're about doing damage to the bat let's go ahead let's hit the gigabat itself so we get some new attacks okay it's flying above me Ooh, a little downward dash 
This would not be the safest biome to be fighting a boss with all these like spikes falling from this guy. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's kill it here. See you later. Let's move on to the next boss. Okay, so this next boss or the next two bosses we're going to check out actually. I think both have events tied to them. Uh, I think I might have to actually put the world in hard mode. So let me do that real quick. All right, boom, here we are. What in the new events? The Rapture. So I believe this starts after killing a mech boss. Uh, it starts in the hollow. And there's some cool enemies. Look at these guys. What are these things? Illumin Illuminant Scour. Kind of looks like a crazy attack to dodge there if you're a little slow. Uh, we got the Sun Servitor. I don't know what the hell this guy does. He doesn't really seem like he did anything yet. Let's kill these guys too. You know, add more percentage here. Because at the end, that's where we take on a boss. I think I'm going to go ahead and just summon in enemies here because I'm not seeing too many. Let's summon in this one. It's called the Pain Bow. And it looks really cool. Look at it. It looks like a giant, like, rainbow pixie. Oh, damn. Okay, I like that. The attacks remind me of the Empress of Light. And obviously, once 1.4 modding finally comes out, that'll go along with the Empress of Light. We got this one, Trailblazer, dead. We got something called a Sun Knight. Look at him. And he's gone. What was he do? Ooh, that's cool ass attack. He's like a thwomp from Mario. He's trying to, like, crush me, too. Let's go ahead and kill him. I uh, might as well kill these guys, too. You know, I got to add to the percentage. Pegasus. I noticed that there is no Pegasus in Terraria. So that's cool that this mod adds in one. Uh, occasionally you can see a Pegasus flying around in the background, I believe in Vanilla Terraria. So it's kind of weird, you know, that they don't have one in the game, but there's one flying in the background. Oh, look at these enemies. Aquarian? Is that what the hell you pronounce that? Whatever. Let's go ahead. Let's kill them. They look cool as hell. I can't lie. I like their attacks too. And I believe that's it for enemies. Look at this. There's a Pegasus mount. Very nice. Look, that's, that's why we have Terraria mods, you know? Terraria, Relogic, they don't do something. Mods got it. Oh, shoot. My boy riding a Pegasus too. What's up? All right, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's kill everything here and let us see the boss all right boss incoming question mark oh there you go it took a little bit but it finally spawned sun pixie you love to see more hollow themed bosses even though i feel like 1.4 you know maybe two hollow themed bosses might have been too much for 1.4 i think the emperor's light would have been just, just fine and then they could have added in like a cave boss or something but yeah sun pixie let's do some damage to it the music is bumping it's a little loud too Maybe my headphones are just turned up really high. We got another boss making a circle around me. That's scary. Let me get trapped in a circle. What if I just take the hit and just walk out the circle? What is the boss going to do? All right, let's go ahead. Let's kill it. I've seen enough there. Ooh, look what weapon it drops. Amazing. All right, on to the other event. This one, I believe, is called the Pestilence. And this also activates after killing uh, all three mech bosses. Cool. And the enemies, the type of enemies that spawn here differ from if you're in the Crimson or if you have the Corruption. Look at this thing. This thing's like a tree. What the heck? Tendril Amalgam. Let me go ahead and kill it. What else do we got? We got some worms flying around us. We got a Light Eater. That looks terrifying. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's pull out the Crimson variant enemies too. We got one called a Living Spine, which is a worm. We got a Chimera. Look at that. Kill him too. I don't know what the hell the Living Spine is. Where, where is it? All right. Just trust me. There, there's a Living Spine. There it is. It looks like another worm, but like Crimson variant. It's cool. It's cool. I like the idea. Living spine is cool, man. And then we got another one here. This one looks terrifying. Look at this thing. Honestly, all these enemies look terrifying. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's kill them all. I'm surprised there's only like three enemies for each biome. Uh, that's kind of not a lot for an event. I like to see at least five enemies minimum for an event. Let's find the same three enemies over and over again. It's a little boring. But yeah, let me go ahead and kill everything and we will see the boss. All right, event completed. The boss should come in here. It's going to be... I was about to give him an intro, but he came in himself. He said, Game Raiders, I got it. I got a better intro than you. Look at these attacks. Oh, God, circling me again. Oh, my God, that's terrifying. Are you supposed to just get hit by that? They don't expect me to have a rotted discord, do they? We got this boss here. Esophagus. Esophag. Esophag. He looks cool as hell. Look at how many legs he has. This dude is creepy. He's scary. Perfect goes along with the crimson and corruption let's do some damage here there you go that should be enough damage to see a couple new attacks this is terrifying though this is definitely terrifying but i love how it looks at the same time it's like i can't look away because it's so cool looking yeah let's go ahead let's kill him rest in peace now i believe for both of those bosses the uh pixie and the esophagus boss there esophagus i don't know how to pronounce it there's uh another version like a stronger ver i don't know if it's directly a stronger ver version or what but like there's an e eclipse pixie eclip eclipse eclipse pixie whatever and then there's this one the hammer of age and as you can see they look terrifying 
<laughs> but I'll leave you guys to those fights, all right? You guys can see those fights yourself. Let's check out, I believe, the final bosses from this mod. And notice how I said bosses. So if you don't want to see the final boss fight here, then, you know, you, you might as well skip ahead. All right, so let's check it out. We got this supercharged battery, summons the polarities. Hey, that's the name of the mod. Boom. So this is supposed to be fought near Moon Lord progression. So you know these boys are going to be tough. We got Magneton, we got Electris. Sound like some Pokemons. Well, I think Mag Magneton literally is a Pokemon. Yeah, look at this. You got two dudes on each side just blasting attacks at you. This is sick. I love the idea. I love how unique it is. Let's do some damage. Let's do damage to one of them. Let's see what happens. I got the guy that's just taking hits. Oh, they're spinning around. Uh, was that just a look cool? Or is that a new phase? I'm assuming that's a new phase because these attacks feel different. But this is sick. It doesn't look like it would be that hard. But at the same time, it doesn't look like it's going to be easy either. I am not a big fan of bull hell bosses in Terraria. I think that it's not the game for it. I think games like Gungeon or Binding Isaac are games for bullet hells. You know, games similar like that. So when I play Terraria and I see bullet hells type stuff, I'm like, yeah, I don't know about it. I'd rather a boss be really unique and creative. But this, this is the type of bullet hell I'm fine with. Same thing with the Empress of Light. As long as you're like able to telegraph like 90% of the attacks and have a chance to dodge them. And there's also room for error, obviously. But yeah, this is sick as hell. All these attacks are really unique. You have a chance to dodge them. Let's do some more damage. All right, what if I kill one of them? What happens if I kill one? Is it like that Dark Souls boss where you kill one, the other enrages and goes crazy? I don't know. We're about to see. So far, I'm not seeing anything. The other boss is still just chilling here. So let me just, you know, kill both of them. All right, there you go. They are dead. The polarities. Oh, was there an animation I was supposed to see? I, I kind of want to see it now. <laughs> I got to bring them in again. I kind of wanted to see the animation. Okay, let's see here. I'm actually going to watch it this time and not drop down. Okay, we got like the spirits. Ooh, I like that. But yeah, there you go. There was the polarities mod. Go check it out. The mod is dope. It updates often. And it's got a bunch of content to play through. Like, I think this might have more content than The Secrets of Shadows. Obviously, that mod is not that big. But, like, this might have enough content to, like, rival Thorium and Modern Redemption. There's no post-Moon Lord bosses, but still, this is a lot of content. But, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave comments for videos you want to see highlighted. Because maybe you guys know some stuff that I don't. I think next time, maybe we'll check out the Modern Redemption. The Modern Redemption, I feel like, is a great mod. Very underrated, too. Uh, other mods that I have in mind. Bismuth is another one. Terrorborn is another mod that I have in mind. This there's a couple that are really underrated out there that i feel like need some more exposure but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time make sure to check out the second channel before i go make sure to check out the second youtube channel please sub to it that's where i post all the streams if you miss them